Hello everyone, this is Learning with Michelle, and today we are going to be doing the first five problems of the 2022 grade 8 mathematics day exam for New York State. So let's get started. For the first question, it says which graph represents a function that's increasing? So basically, increasing functions, they go like this. They go this way. Okay, my mouse, it goes this way. So let's see. For A, it shows a horizontal line. It doesn't increase like this. So A is not a correct answer. For B, it shows a vertical line, which goes up. It doesn't go like this. So B is not a correct answer. For C, it shows a line that's going like this. And this is a decreasing function. Okay, so that's a decreasing function. It's not an increasing function. So C is not a correct answer. And for D, it shows a line that's going like this. So D is the correct answer for this problem. Let's move on to the next question. For number two, it says, what is the solution to the equation shown below? So for this, you have to do 2.5x plus 5 equals 7.5x minus 0 0.5. First, you have to distribute 2.5 to x and 5. So you do 2.5 x plus 12.5 and that equals to 7.5 x minus 0 0.5 after that you have to subtract 2.5 x from each side to cancel out the 2.5x. So you got 12.5 equals 5x minus 0 0.5. After that, you have to add 0 0.5 to each side to cancel out 0 0.5. So you got 12.5 plus 0 0.5, which gives you 13 equals 5x. Now divide both sides by 5, and you get 13 out of 5 equals x. 13 out of 5 is also equal to 2.6. So the answer is 2.6 equals x, which is answer choice A. Let's move on to the next problem. So for question three, it says there are two boxes of cereal in the shape of a rectangular prisms on a shelf. The dimensions of each box of the cereal are listed below. Box A has a height of 35 centimeters, a length of 20 centimeters, and a width of nine centimeters. Box B has a height of 25 centimeters, a length of 19 centimeters, and a width of 6 centimeters. What is the difference in volume in cubic centimeters between the two boxes of cereal? So you have both of these rectangular prisms, and they have all the dimensions. So to find the volumes of these rectangular prisms, you have to do area equals the length times width times height. So you basically multiply all the dimensions together. So for A, prism A, you have, you have 25 times nine times 20. And for B, you have 25 times six times 19. 
So for A, you get you get 4,500 when you multiply them together. And for B, you get you get 2,850. So now you have to subtract these values from each other. So 4,500 minus 2,850 equals 1,650, which is answer choice A. Let's move on to the next problem. So for question four, it says which equation represents the line shown on the coordinate plane below. So we have a bunch of equations in the answer choices and they're all in, in a form called slope intercept form where it is y equals m x plus b. m is the slope and b is the y intercept. So the slope is basically rise over run, which is the change in x over change in, I mean, which is the change in y over change in x. And the y intercept is the value of the point, I mean, of the y value on the point of the y-axis. So let's see what the equation of this line is. So we have y equals, pick two points, picking this one and this one. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, rises five, one, two, runs two. So it's five over two x. And the y-intercept is 4 because the value of x, I mean the value of y, is 4 when the point is on the y-axis. So the equation is y equals 5 over 2x plus 4, which is answer choice D. Let's move on to the next problem. So for question five, it says two intersecting lines, L and T are shown in the diagram below. If Y equals 115, what is the value of X? So these two angles, they are vertical because they form an X and their values are the same. So two X minus 15 equals Y. And if y equals 115, that means 2x minus 15 equals 115. Now you have to add 15 to both sides to cancel out the 15. You get 2x equals 130. And you subtract, I mean, and you divide both sides by 2 to cancel out the 2. And you get x equals 65 which gives you answer choice C. Okay, guys, so that was it for today. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll make sure to post more math and ELA content for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!